And Shell Public Schools trying to determine the future of its buildings and infrastructure. And this morning, the district will hold a workshop where board members will discuss the facility's master plan. 12 News reporter Max Dutton joins us live in the studio this morning to preview this workshop. Max? Yeah, and Britain, the master plan includes possible school consolidations, rebuilds, even the potential for a $450 million bond issue. Now, the school board presented a draft of those plans last week, but this morning they'll unpack and discuss those plans even more. It was announced at last week's Board of Education meeting that there is a possibility of rebuilding eight school facilities. Those include Adams, Black, Caldwell, Irving, and McLean Elementary Schools, as well as Truesdale Middle School and the new Early Childhood Center. Now, the draft also has potential of repurposing three schools. That's Coleman Middle School, Bryant Opportunity Academy, and the recently closed Jardine Middle School. Those three would accommodate alternative programs, but the plan also includes consolidating four elementary schools, five alternative schools, and two administrative centers. Those rebuilds and renovations are actually just part of the plan. It's still unclear when this entire plan could be brought to voters, but board member Stan Reeser says they'll be working on the plan until at least July. Consultants are great uh, on giving you the framework, the groundwork of what you need in your community. But what we have to do, our responsibility as a board member now is to start turning this into a specific plan that the, the general public can understand and appreciate and hopefully support. This morning's workshop will be held at 9 a.m. at the Albany Morris Administrative Center. It is open to the public, but there will be no public comment. Britton.